a bunch of things. First of all, no pesticides. Or Louise Washer and Donna Merrill admit this yard in Norwalk, Connecticut is a mess. But all the leaves, brush, and weeds serve a purpose. It's got all the uh, bee balm and the milkweed that the butterflies and the bees need. Those native plants give insects and birds a place to gather and transfer pollen to help the ecosystem thrive, even in towns and cities. It started with in 2017, Washer and Merrill created a nonprofit called the Pollinator Pathway, encouraging others to let their lawns go wild stop mowing so often and avoid using pesticides. People read about the insect apocalypse and, and the bee declines and the monarch butterfly. Um, and this is something positive. This is something you can do. After signing up online, you can purchase a butterfly marker to let your neighbors know why your yard might not look picture perfect. The movement now includes members in over 300 towns across the country. It's seeding all over the United States. It's moving into the Midwest, into the Northwest, into the Southeast. Why are pollinators so important? Because 80% of the flowers and plants on planet Earth require an animal vector for reproduction. University of Montana pollinator ecologist Scott Debnam hopes the pathway will one day expand to unused farmland and the sides of roads and highways. That's miles and miles and miles of available forage. Back in Connecticut, this is a wild strawberry. These co-founders are just getting started. Where do you see this in 10 years? I think we're really <laughs> changing something. I, I don't think this is stoppable at this point. They say doing less is really more when it comes to helping our planet. Laura Podesta, CBS News.